Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be playing Evergreen Gardens. Convert the beautiful Evergreen Gardens into a thriving theme park. The objective, to have at least 1,000 guests in your park at the end of October year four with a park rating of at least 600. Evergreen Gardens is another one of these parks where guests pay to get in and then all the rides are free. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the entry price up to, let's have a look. We're going to put it up to 40. I, I think that'll be fine. I think that's um, cheap enough to bring lots of people in, but um, expensive enough to earn us a lot of money. Um, let's have a look to see what sort of rides we've got train a few gentle rides um not many thrill rides basic coasters um not all the shops okay first thing i'm going to do then put all my research into shops i want a kiosk um and then what i'm going to do is so if we look at the park there's a lot of paths leading off all around the place um so what i want to do is i'm gonna i'm gonna keep keep the paths um for the most part and the scenery as well um but i'm gonna put some no entry signs so that we keep the guests um at the start and then so what i'll do is i'll start placing placing rides here at the beginning um, when I've got a few of those, then I'll um, I'll start maybe unlocking more areas of the park. Um, so I've got my research set of shops. As soon as I unlock kiosk, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to thrill rides. And then um, once I've got a few thrill rides, then I think I'll switch to uh, roller coasters. But um, We've got junior roller coasters and wooden roller coasters. I'm already eyeing up this this nice flat area at the top here as a prime spot for junior roller coasters. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to crack on with building. And I'll see you in a moment. We're to June. I did start building a pair of junior coasters over here, but then we unlocked pirate ships. So because they're so cheap and quick to build, I decided to abandon the junior coasters and instead build a couple of uh, pirate ships. So I've done one. Um, reason being, they're so quick to build that um, that will boost the desirability of the park. So I should get more guests starting to come into the park. Um, so I'm going to crack on building the second one. And then once I've done that, then I'm going to finish off building the roller coaster. We are into July, so I've just finished building my second pirate ship, and I'm just um, zoning a mechanic. Now, if this was a park that was free to enter and you paid for each ride you went on, I would usually have uh, more mechanics per ride, and I'd certainly have a mechanic for a pair of roller coasters. Um, but since the guests pay at the gate and then all subsequent rides are free, I'm going to use less mechanics and have them covering more rides because if a ride breaks down, it isn't, you're not going to lose the money that you would do if, um, guests were paying for a ride. So I finished my pirate chips. I'm now going to crack on with the roller coasters. Coming up to the end of year one, I've got a pair of junior coasters here. Quite good excitement. Um, I've added an extra bit of chain lift on the orange one here and then increased the speed just to try and get them synchronized. It's probably about the best I can do. But I've just raised this little area here and i've got a motion simulator that i've unlocked 
So what I thought I'd do is, in order to save space, I put it, uh, let's have a look there. Will it let me do it? Yeah. So I'm going to put it there, but then I'll press down, and that will then put it underground. So I can build that, and then... We are into year two. We're halfway towards getting the 1,000 guests in the park with the objective once. And we've only used this small, small section of the park so far. So we've got tons of space to expand into. And we will have to expand at some point because the park is starting to look very crowded. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of the guests are already. No, can't see. Yeah, there you go. There's a couple of them. We are into August. I just built this very simple looping roller coaster here, but for the simplicity and the price, it gives pretty good excitement rating. Um, as we've seen in previous games we've played, if you build adjacent roller coasters and synchronize them, it'll give you about a 10% boost. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's a, as I said, it's a very simple design, but I'll run you through through it quite quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to go up with a twist there, and then a tight bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to do exactly the same at the back but in reverse one two three four five oh need a bit more cash there that's fine oh, a bit more as well there we go and then we're gonna go down down flat go to this side flat down, down, flat, on right photo section, and then speed is critical for this one. Um, I've got this one set to 51 miles per hour. I think initially I tried it um, at around 45, and it just made it, but uh, the excitement was only down around the twos. I upped it to 51 and the excitement shot up. Um, so we'll put. There you go. Very simple designs. Good excitements. What we'll do now is if we save. We save that design and then go in to loop and roller coaster spiral 4000 there you go 4000 for a ride with five excitement that will make you some very happy guests it is October 31st Year two, the scenario wants a thousand guests at the end of October year four. We've done that in two years. So we've done that in half the time. And we've used a very small amount of the available space. Starting to expand now into this area. It's uh, flattened out a little. Um, the easiest thing to do, um, especially now the money is starting to roll in, is um, would be to get rid of all the scenery. But I think what I might do is is try and work with the scenery to see um, 
just to make a difference really just to, just to do something new because usually I would just get rid of all the scenery and and play but uh, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll work with what we've got hi right, guys welcome back it is October year four so not long then to go before the objective needs to be completed by just a recap Convert the beautiful Evergreen Gardens into a thriving theme park to have at least 1,000 guests in your park at the end of October year four with a park rating of at least 600. Well, we completed the objective at the end of year two. So the past two years, really, we've just been waiting for, um, for year four to come around. So at the beginning of the park, we've got a carousel and a twist. I started building a couple of junior coasters up here. Then we unlocked pirate ships. So I put building those on hold and then built the pirate ships because they're quite popular and uh, quick to build, fairly cheap as well. Um, I, as soon as the game started, I put the price of entry to 40 pounds. Um, I've kept it there all game, but a lot of the guests coming in seem to have around 80 to 100 pounds in their pocket so we could charge a lot more for entry if we wanted to i'm sure we could probably get away with 60 or even 80 pounds um so from here then we finished the the junior coasters i've added a um, free fall there we've got three 3d cinemas set to different movie each just under that flat area in the center of the screen, we've got a couple of motion simulators. Um, I've been spamming shops in uh, a lot of a lot of free areas. We're making three to four thousand pound a month just on shop sales, and then another twelve to fifteen hundred pound on uh, food and drink sales. Got a couple of um, very simple spiral uh, shaped uh, looping coasters here. Um, five and a half for the, for the excitement. Quite popular, very cheap. Across here then, um, initially we cordoned off the rest of the park with no entry signs and then just focused on here. Then as we were running out of space, started moving into the rest of the park. Um, got a go-kart ride here, good excitement rating, goes underground, goes around the existing scenery there, also suffers, uh, suffers, also benefits from a, from a buff from the junior coasters and the mine ride as well that we've built here, the mine ride goes up, down. Um, so we've got copper here and tin. Copper goes underground for a lot longer, but strangely isn't as exciting as tin. So I don't know if the underground has taken a bit of excitement off that. Um, ironically, when I was I was building tin last, um, I was having trouble completing the underground section, so I just made it really easy overground section um, and then here then I've got a, a large wooden coaster running up the side of the park and an observation deck although all along here then we've spammed more shops making in quite a lot of money off the balloons haven't used a massive amount of the park um, in the end We'd already completed the objective so early that I just didn't didn't really have the motivation to do it. I think in future I will get rid of the scenery and then expand into the park. Just a few days to go then. We've got double the target for guests. We've got 2100. The target wants 1000. Park rating is on maximum. Been on maximum for quite some time.
one thing that was um, starting to bug me and it's, well, now that the, the number of the guests in the park has risen again, this area here was really crowded, it's, it's very crowded now, but it was um, exceptionally crowded a few months back, um, so up until that point I hadn't built any toilets in the park, so what I did was I built some toilets then down this end of the park, um, and it worked, it, uh, it lured several hundred guests down from there to this area uh, most of them stayed it's just that the new air, new um, guests coming to the park are all tending to congregate here it probably doesn't help that I've got I've completed it brilliant there you go do um, it probably doesn't help that I've where I've shared exits they're all coming out in one area at the start um, one thing I did read recently on, um, I think it was on Reddit, was someone, I can't remember their name, sorry, they like to build from a, a popular ride underground paths that connect the ride to another area of the park, so that, um, as a way of transporting guests um, fairly long distances, that, um, that could be something useful to try. Um, so yeah, we've done, we've done the scenario. Um, I'm not a big fan of the existing scenery when I or rides when I start when I start scenarios. So I think I probably would have I, I enjoyed playing the scenario. Don't get me wrong, but I think I would have enjoyed it more if I didn't have the existing scenery. So I think what I'll do is I'll delete the scenery and then. I'll continue playing then at some point, um, add in and build some big rides and whatever. And then maybe in the future, I'll um, do a quick quick, uh, quick update on some of the parks that we've completed where I've continued building. Um, not like a, a full playthrough, just to, just to sort of load the game up and, and, and describe some of the things I've done. So yeah, quite um, quite happy with um, with this scenario. The wooden coasters uh, not a bad design either. It's, um, it's got a nice crest there with a the photo section, and then it goes underneath the entrance. We could probably build that up with earth and then use a little tunnel. Maybe get a little bit of extra excitement from that, and then the water there acts as like a break to slow it down slightly yeah so um i quite enjoyed that it's another scenario ticked off the list um and one that uh, could be good to get rid of the scenery and save as a blank canvas and use as a as a sort of sandbox so that was evergreen gardens if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye